Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 32 bread and butter items. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or yes, or less, not or yes, $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And by the way, I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I leave the bloopers because I don't have time to edit, so you get the bloopers. All right, let's get started. Um, show you these bolos. I'm going to pull up my screen share. First, I'm going to show right, the first item is this vintage play school dollhouse mom. She uh, sold for $12 and the buyer was all in with tax and shipping for $19.27. Now, there are Fisher Price and this one is actually play school. They are a little bit different. If you find the Fisher Price, those are the Loving Family. I do not believe this is Loving Family, but when you look these up, sometimes you will see that people call them that, but I do not believe that they are. On the back, I do believe it's on the back. Um, I think it says Play School right across like the belted area there. Do you see that? Okay, so that's how you know it's Play School. And she's not in great condition. I mean, she's a little dirty. She's a little faded. Um, and when I say dirty, I don't I don't know if it'll come off. It's stained, I guess I should say. So yeah, 12 bucks plus shipping on that one. And I just pick up these dolls at garage sales, thrift stores, wherever I see them, I pick them up because they're easy to list. And they usually sell at a decent rate. The next item I sold, okay, now this one is a Fisher Price Loving Family. See his foot, it says FP and they are dated. So this guy is vintage and he, I think he is. I didn't put the date. I normally put vintage and the date. Uh, let me see. Yeah, he's from 1994 and he sold for $14.40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is another cat's meow item and this one is vintage from 1998. And it's like a billboard. And this sold for, uh-oh, that's odd. Huh, maybe I mixed up the order. This sold for $11.99 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $17.32. Now, these are American Girl headbands. Yeah, I missed one. Wonder which one I missed. Avon International. I don't Avon and it went internationally. Shucks, maybe it'll show up in another tab somewhere. Okay, so the headbands, the American Girl headbands came from a garage sale. It was like a bulk buy of American Girl stuff. And I took a best offer of $14 on these and the buyer paid shipping. And if you want to know how I get the background to go from this to this white, I do have a video on that and you can check it out on my YouTube channel. So $14 best offer all in for 1910. The next item I sold is this Boyd's frog. These are glass frogs. I have uh, maybe a handful left, three, four. Um, I have sold so many of these glass frogs. The prices have ranged. They were doing really good in the beginning and now I'm just getting more relaxed with what I'm taking. I actually took a best offer on this one for $9. The buyer was all in for $14.77. The next item are these ERTL die cast um, trailers. And I believe these came out of a mystery box or they were that garage sale tote. I think these were a mystery box. And I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Do you guys like it when I tell you what it sold for with tax and shipping, or is it okay if I just say the buyer paid shipping? Um, I've always done it where I just say buyer paid shipping, but when I look at how different the number is when you add the shipping and tax, I'm like, wow, like I would be getting so much more for my items if shipping did not cost so much. It's crazy. Okay, this me, I think it's pronounced Mikasa. Uh, this is a um, angel figurine. I cannot remember where I got this. I can't remember if it came out of a mystery box. It's not something that I feel like I would have picked up, but I could be wrong. But I sold this for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So like that one, the buyer was all in for $32.43. 
So does that interest you guys? Um, that might help people that do free shipping to know how to price their items. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. The next item I sold is this, uh, I think it's Ives Rocher, Rocher, Rocher. Uh, it's a jumbo eyeliner pencil and this sold for $10 and 50 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up in a bulk lot of, um, makeup and perfume at a thrift store. The next item I sold is this Lego Bionicle. This is set eight, nine, one, three. I sold this for a best offer of $27 and the buyer paid the shipping. So uh, these right here, I don't know if you're familiar with these, but it actually shoots, which is kind of cool. The next item that sold is this Longenberger pottery rectangle bowl, like a snack dish. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents and it sold for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Just wanted to confirm. Okay, the next item I sold are these two Barbies. Um, I sold these for $27.19 and the buyer paid shipping. And they are in really great condition. Um, I, they look to have their accessories, no shoes, but you know, they've got their bracelets and their earrings and stuff like that. So that helped. The next item I sold is this abalone shell stretch bracelet. It's beaded and then it has the abalone shell in the shape of a flower. Super cute. Uh, just a simple bracelet. This came out of my bulk buy, 344 pounds of jewelry. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Um, I do have a playlist that tells you how that happened. Definitely check it out. The next item are these Pokemon figures. I believe these were in a mystery box, if I remember correctly. And I sold these for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Ghostbuster Legos. I picked these up at a garage sale and I bought so much stuff from this garage sale. Um, so I probably have a dollar or less in this. And I sold them for $14 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item. Okay, so I bought some stuff on Facebook from someone. And typically what I do on Facebook is I find an item and then I ask them if they have anything else they want to sell. And she's like, oh, well, I also have this and this and this and this. And I ended up bundling everything together on a Facebook deal and I went and picked it up. So this was actually connected to a take a long house. But one of the, um, Oh, what's it called when it opens and one of the hinges was missing. So I took the other hinge off and I listed it. And then I took off this latch that goes to the door and I listed it. And this sold super fast for $12 and 80 cents. The buyer paid the shipping and tax. They were all in for $17 and 77 cents for this. How cool is that? And I always put replacement in the title if it's a replacement part. The next item I sold is this vintage clay beaded necklace, zoo safari animals, super cute. Also, I believe came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I sold this for a best offer of $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these little jingle bell Easter chick and bunny ornaments. And um, the buyer actually... I think it was on the feedback they said, or maybe they left, they sent me an email or something. And, um, they said they were smaller than they expected, but, um, they were still very happy, but I put them in my hands to show size. Typically I will put a measuring tape, but for some reason I did not with these, but, um, uh, maybe because my hand is curved, I usually lay it flat. I'm not sure, but they were still happy. So that's good. But this sold for a best offer of $10.05 and the buyer paid shipping. And I picked these up at a garage sale for less than a buck. The next item I sold is this vintage flocked horse. This came out of a mystery box, I do believe. And I sold this for $24 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's super, super cute. It's flocked. Um, let me try and get a close up of what flocked looks like. This is flocked, you guys. The next item I sold is this Hasbro Tonka Funrise Green Recycling Truck. Lights and sounds. I got to be honest with you guys. I almost donated this. Number one, um, it's a bigger item and I didn't really want to mess with shipping it. Number two, the comps weren't super high. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to list it. Like, 
It'll take me just a few minutes. I think I have a box that size and it sold really fast. So this was another Facebook marketplace bundle and I sold this for $16 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these shoes and I actually picked these up at an estate sale and I don't get away, Zoom. Um, they actually have the packaging. It is very, very yellow, but the shoes were new old stock for sure. Um, I sold these for a best offer of $14. The buyer was all in for $20 and two cents and I paid a dollar at an estate sale. The next item is this vintage 1979 Playmobil car. And I took the time to look it up <laughs> and the comps were just, you know, bread and butter. But I was like, you know what? I've already looked it up. I might as well list it. So I sold this for $7.99. The buyer was all in for $13.79. And I probably had a nickel, 10 cents in it. It came in a toy lot that I got. All right, you guys, McDonald's toys. A lot of you guys will not waste your time. Completely understand that. Some of them can be a bolo. I actually have a McDonald's uh, Happy Meal Toys bolo video. Go check it out because some of them may surprise you. These probably sold because they are a Snoopy theme. I sold these for $11.99. The buyer paid the shipping. And you guys, with the shipping, I don't know why. Okay, never mind. I thought it was 29. It's actually 24, I think. 12. No. It's 29.08. Buyer was all in. Um, I'm guessing maybe it was over a pound. I don't know why it's so high. Or maybe I put priority mail instead of first class. It had to have been over a pound. Anyway. So, yeah, $29. No. 12 $24 24.08 cuz it was 855 maybe they live somewhere with high tax I don't know it just seems like the total is high All right the next item are these goosebump books goosebump books I want to say always sell because they pretty much have always sold for me Um I sold these for $31.99 the buyer was all in for 39.92 I picked these up for 25 cents each, I do believe. Um, I think those, yeah, I think the ones I got at the garage sale are still out in the garage that I need to list. Eek. Um, okay, this one is one where I thought it was going to be a bolo, but it was not. I ended up taking a best offer on this thing for $15. I did pick it up at a garage sale for a buck, but I was certain that this was going to be like something special, like somebody would need the cup, somebody would want the toothbrush. Now, granted, it, it's pretty disgusting. It's probably a used toothbrush, but the whole concept behind it, you know, it's like a little playset toothbrush caddy. I don't know. I couldn't get it to work, but... <laughs> Whatever. I'm just so glad it's gone. But I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This is one where I'm just like, I don't understand. But I think I put, um, you push the button and it talks. It is not in working condition. Um, the toothbrush takes batteries. I could not get it to work. I may be putting batteries in wrong. It was weird. It's like a vintage toy, but the batteries didn't, I don't know what I was doing. Um, Sold as is, most likely the toothbrush does not work. And then I put, I did not clean it for display only. I would not recommend using this toothbrush for display only in big print. How disgusting. Like, I really hope somebody's not going to use that. Um, okay, so this vintage 1990 Thomas and Friends, Sir Topham. Um, he's a die cast uh, train figure guy. And he was in a toy tote that I picked up at a garage sale. I sold him for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came with a bunch of um, dollhouse furniture that I got at an estate sale. And this was just sitting in there. I'm guessing they were using it in the dollhouse. But I was like, I'm just going to look it up. And Precious Moments is not typically a big money bolo. So I wasn't expecting much. But when I saw comps, I was pleasantly surprised. I went ahead and auctioned the item and it sold with one bid for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. So a bread and butter, but it sold super fast. 
The next item I sold is this junk drawer lot. This is from items from a garage sale. I listed a bunch of stuff that I got at the same sale. These items, I just could not make myself list them separately. So I lotted them up and I sold that for $14.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. The buyer was all in for $32.70. The next item was also in a Facebook lot. Again, uh, I purchased something and then had them lot the other items together. This was included in the lot. I sold these for a best offer of $14 and the buyer paid shipping. So these are the Fisher Price animals. They're just about this big. They're kind of like a rubbery plastic. I'm not sure exactly what they're made out of. But you guys know, you've heard of little people, right? Um, they say it on the side. You can see it right here on this sheep. They say little people. Um, I do pretty good with these. Definitely a bread and butter, but they usually sell. The next item was a nice surprise. This was also in that Facebook lot and he sold really fast, but he has both the masks and all of the accessories. These are like hands, so he can either have his hands open or he has the fist. Um, and then he's got these spiky things. I don't know, but he sold quick and he sold best offer $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these little trolls. You're my honey bunny and your some bunny special and they're little trolls. You wind them up and they're a wind up toy. They sold for $13 and 60 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage ceramic doctor. I don't know why I picked this up. You guys, it's got a little like shot that could break really easy during shipment. You guys know I hate breakables, but for some reason this day I bought a bunch of breakables from the thrift store. Um, I've got a dollar in this and it sold really fast for $17 and 60 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. So I don't know. I was saying this, I think at my live show, I don't know if people are like more drawn to like things that are nurses, like that precious moments was a nurse, that doctor ceramic figure. Um, they seem to be trending right now. And maybe it's because of that. Uh, maybe people are buying them as gifts for people. I'm not really certain, but definitely be on the lookout. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, have a great night. Thanks for watching.